Okay, welcome again to today's video and welcome to DonaldWa.com. Today we're going to talk a little bit about how I go about getting a good sound um, by using EQs and compressors to allow the bass to sit well in the mix. But the first thing I must talk about is that uh, before I even record a note, I make sure that instrument is first of all tuned. <laughs> you know, getting a good tone. Make sure all your settings on your bass is set to a nice tone, you know what I mean? And of course, how you play the instrument is gonna make a, make a difference. So overall, get a good tone from your amp also, as you're recording your amplifier, rather than just go in flat and, and see where you can get. I, I, I try to do the least amount of EQing as possible. I want, I want to sound good going in, so it, it's gonna take less work getting a decent sound from the bass. All right, so let's take a listen. And before we take a listen, uh, let's look at the track itself so we're gonna go to the two channels that we record so we have the bass mic and the bass di the levels look pretty much identical which is what you want you want a good mix i'm not gonna pan them left or right it's just gonna be a, a straight in the middle mix of a sound i find with the di sound it's a little bit more uh, focused and the uh the mic sound you get a little bit uh more round and you can you can listen for yourself all right let's let's play the track <laughs> So that's the mic sound. Now let's take a listen to the DI sound. And now together. Both sounds sounding pretty good. Now let's see if we can get it sitting beautifully in the mix. All right, let's open up our mixer board here on uh, Reaper. So we're gonna go over to our bass bus because I've routed both those signals into a bus so I can uh, add EQ and compression on both tracks at the same time. So we're gonna head over to our channel strip. I like using channel strips because uh, you get a lot with only one plugin. It's a lot easier in my opinion. All right, so we're gonna use uh, one of my favorite channel strips, Sheps Omni Channel. Really good plugin. All right, so we're gonna take a look here. So first of all, I always try to put on a, a high pass filter on pretty much every single track to get rid of that low rumbly 20 to 30 hertz. It really cleans up the, the the sound overall especially when you start compressing it brings up that low rumbly sound and vocals and pretty much every everything now we're gonna move over to our eq now with the eq there this particular eq there's a mid-range and there's a tone in terms of the frequency range they're identical the only difference between these two bands is that the q on the mid-range is a, a tiny bit smaller than the well uh, larger sorry it, the mid-range is larger than the, the tone in terms of that curve so the, I find the tone is a little bit more focused than the mid knob. Now, what I like to do first is uh, let's solo that bus and play so we can take a listen to what the bass sound like. So that's the mix of uh, the mic and the DI. seven dBs and then I'm gonna sweep I'll find that nasally sound around 600 Hertz between 650 and 700 and I'm gonna pull that back about 5 dBs and I'm gonna boost some low end about 5 dBs also probably gonna boost about 90, 95 hertz let's hear what that sounds in the mix so far so 
So we have the low end and we have uh, a nice mid scoop, but I find it's, it's you're not getting that bite. So to get that bite, I find I'm gonna need a bit of high mids. So I'm gonna boost another six dBs and I'm gonna sweep and probably gonna, let's take a listen as we, we sweep through the frequency. Solo it for a second there. thousand hertz hmm let's boost that even a little bit more seven decibels now we're gonna add some gain reduction to kind of smoothen things out a little bit increase the ratio to about uh, four to one Sweep that threshold a little bit. I don't need a whole lot of compression. Just to get a little bit of those peaks. I'm liking the way that sounds. Let's see what it sounds in the mix. So, so far it's sounding really, really nice because the bass already sound and it was well played. So, um, it's sitting really nice in the mix so far. Um, let's, let's see what it's, let's listen what it sounds like so far. Okay, that's it really really easy really simple um get a good sound so you don't have to do a whole lot of work um, in terms of eqing and killing it with plugins and effects <laughs> uh, it's a bass let it sound let it be free nice so thank you so much for uh, checking out the video please go ahead and subscribe to the youtube channel or like on facebook or follow on the web at donaldwa.com